Okay, so we're going to do a uh, quick tip here, pro my MMA uh, tip on how to, in this instance, uh, prevent the other person slamming you when you're in a uh, leg suppression or a triangle choke. This is a fairly common kind of counter attack that will be going on if someone's getting caught in that position. So let's put that, go through what we're talking about. First of all, I'm getting Millsy here in a leg suppression triangle choke kind of position and he is going to counter this by going straight in for a slam. So one of the things he's going to do is make sure this arm's not too far past the cross. Um, just this way for me. He's going to try and stay dead centre to me and come over me in this instance to help pick me up. It doesn't have to be too far over me, but he's going to get me here in any kind of grip and basically use a bit of strength here to lift me up, slam me down, and this slams me down to try and lose that leg position from there. So a couple of things that are going on here that we need to try and break down from this person. One is the angle, we mentioned it there, and the second one <coughs> is the placement of my hips in relationship to Millsy's upper body. So in this position here, I've got two real options and we can combine a little bit of both. Firstly, we're going to talk about angle. So if I'm in the leg suppression position here and I stay in a straight line through Millsy's uh, spine here through his back, <clears throat> then that makes it easier for him to pick me up. If we went to the extreme and I went completely angled off 90 degrees like this, it's very difficult for him to pick me up because he can't get the uh, relative leverage from that position. So one of the things I can do to make it difficult for him to pick me up is to angle off to this side. A little. Now when I'm going through leg suppression properly, I'll talk about this um, as part of the technique. It's a good thing to do to tighten up on the suppression, the submission itself. <clears throat> and in this instance, it makes it even better because it prevents um, a little bit of the slam opportunities. So I'm going to get my standard leg suppression, triangle choke opportunity from here, and I'm just going to angle this way slightly, lock this in even tighter. I'm going to try not to put too much pressure on Millsy for a second. But now if he's going to slam me, it's more difficult for him to get this arm across me and more difficult for him to pick me up from that position. If you go for a pick up from there, Millsy, he can still do it a little bit, from there, but I've got more opportunities to lock that back in again when it comes back down. So the angle is a good thing. <clears throat> but actually the number one thing that's going to prevent this person from picking me up, slamming me down on the back, is exiting the hips away from him a little bit. So again in this instance where I'm setting up the triangle choke, <clears throat> if I keep my hips underneath him, it's going to be much easier for him to pick me up. So if I'm in here, like this, and my hips are right underneath him, and he can get over me slightly from there, that's great for him. That's exactly where he needs to be. If I get into this position, and I'm starting to apply from here, and I feel him posturing up like this, way before he gets to his legs, I need to start sliding back and hipping out. Obviously, depending on your proximity to the cage, this can be more or less difficult to do, but if you just settle down for a second, Millsy. So if we're back in the position here, where we're applying it, and I feel Millsy starting to posture up, I am going to hip out this way. Yeah. yeah, so just effectively slide away from him. As I'm sliding away from him, I'm putting more pressure down through the legs, like this, which is helping me to apply from that position. I can angle off slightly from here as well. And notice at this point, I haven't even got the arm across, and there's already a lot of pressure on Millsy. I would be getting the arm across as well, doing all of this combined, so sliding out, angling across from here. So slight angle this way, keeping my hips out under him in this direction. Thank you, Joseph. <coughs> helping him to, well, helping me to prevent him slamming. So we're just going to do this one more time, and not going to put too much pressure on, and not going to put too much angle on. And Mills is just going to give uh, a little bit of an attempt at a slam. So this doesn't mean it's impossible, it just means it's far more difficult for him to do. So just slide back out there for me. Okay, so once again, we've come up, got ourselves a nice triangle position. We see him going up, so he's going to go for the slam, and I'm coming back from here. So I have to keep sliding out and keep bringing him back down. At the same time, I'm going to be working on the arm and on the leg. And there. Thanks, boys. <coughs> so trying to bring my backside out from underneath him so that relationship never gets stuck under him. If you allow your hips to get stuck under the person, there's much more opportunity for them to lift you up. Thanks Millsy, so that's a really good couple of tips for preventing the person slamming you from a triangle choke or as we would call it a leg shoulder, a leg with shoulder suppression. <clears throat>